Good morning! Welcome to the Ambassador's Hour. This is your girl, Minister Asia. If you're new to the channel, hi! Welcome to the Ambassador's Hour. We're glad to have you here. And if you're one of the loyal 63, God bless you! We're not going to waste that much time because we're out at Publix now and we're going to drive to work from here. And so, we're going to pray, we're going to set the atmosphere for this wonderful, fabulous Friday, and we're going to believe that God going to meet us at the point of our knee over the weekend, sis. Is that all right with you, brother? All right, let's say our mantra, for I know who I am. I'm working on this camera. I, I took it from a ussy to a um, from a selfie to a ussy, so it's not as sensitive as it was. But the lighting is does fluctuate. It tries to see everything. It's pretty nosy. Now Starbucks. Let me tell y'all if y'all can see. I'm at Starbucks. Starbucks line is all the way to the street. It is from the drive-through all the way to Perry Parkway. Now, if they got five bucks to buy some coffee, they got five and ten bucks to sow into the kingdom of God. And I promise you, they are pushing in the Starbucks, pushing in the Starbucks to get this coffee. So we need to have our brands, our kingdom brands, so fabulously outlaid. And, you know, our business is so slayed like Starbucks that they push in to buy our products, but get the gospel that's the vision for today okay for i know who i am and whom did i stand whom empowers me to be i am an ambassador for christ and this is the hour to recognize me if you don't know we're telecommunication outreach ministry we're solely dedicated to speaking into present truths the truth that we speak is not of our own volition it's based on the word of god we're a subsidiary of loving people by sharing christ loving people by sharing christ is a christian support page found on facebook it's founded by none other than minister renata c mcfadden and her bestie heather on loving people by sharing christ you can find memes gifts and other graphical depictions and illustrations of the undying love of jesus christ okay while you're over at loving people by sharing christ on facebook you can um inbox your prayer requests you can inbox your testimonies you can just say hey heather how you doing girl hey minister renata what it do you can let them know um how you felt about an episode of the ambassadors hour you can let them know what you thought about the daily devotionals and you can just tell them how your experience in the kingdom of god has been thus far now i want to ask you an important question this is what i want to ask you why are you still there my god i want to ask you this question and i mean it with the whole with my whole heart why are you still there why are you still there there for me may be different than there for you there is like a symbolism or symbolic of a place of maybe bondage a place of maybe complacency a place of familiarity because you're familiar with it why are you still there like when you go to a job every day that is not fulfilling but you still get up get dressed and you go why are you still there if you're in a relationship whether it is ministerial business relationship even if it's a friendship like why are you still there why are you still there isn't that something and so i know this camera is a lighting chaser it chases the light it goes for the light honey carolyn this is a carolyn camera and so whatever the lighting is that's what it goes for okay so y'all just don't even mind that let's let's answer this question I want you guys to take a deep reflection over this weekend and to examine yourself because the Apostle Paul says, let every man first examine himself to see if he be in faith. We have talked all week about intentionality, intentionality about sharing the gospel, but this intentionality series does not just stop with proselytization and evangelism, intentionality 
goes and translates across every arena of your life. The question that we're asking ourselves purposefully and deliberately asking ourselves is why are you still there? Why are you still at that financial institute? If it does not have benefits in terms of yielding an increase or it didn't get dividends after every quarter or there's no incentive, like, okay, say for instance, one of my accounts, I have several accounts. One of my accounts charges a $10 service fee every month. And I've been asking myself, that's $120 that I could have rolled over into a savings account. Why am I still there? So they sent me something yesterday, an email. We're going to consider the fees that we charge you for this account, etc. Blase, blase. Okay, I'm going to consider it too. Because I'm thinking in 2021, I'm not going to bank with you. Not for that account. I'm going to take that check and I'm going to have it automatically deposited in this kind of account. And it's going to be a free checking account. And I'm going to take the $10 that I was paying you every month and I'm going to put it in savings. And I'm going to put that $120 back. But it's just $120, Minister Asia. Why, why was I there anyway? It's been like almost a year. So why am I still there? And so um, I'm going to pause you real quick.